Many of the estimated 23,000 Irish travelers in Ireland today are true to their nomadic roots, working abroad for much of the year. The town of Rathkeel in the southwest of Ireland is relatively quiet for 11 months of the year. Then in December, it wakes up. Rathkeel's population nearly trebles as traveller families return from the four corners of the world to their hometown. Keen to keep marriage within the community, there is only a narrow window of opportunity for bonds to be made between families, meaning the Christmas period is crammed with wedding celebrations. Non-traveller Davy Mann runs a club over the Christmas period to help cater for the great traveller migration. Rakhil is like a, another version of Hollywood at Christmas. They're in all parts of the world, including England, they're in Australia, they've been, they're in America, they're in Europe, all over the place. But they all come back to Rakhil on the December to have their functions, to have their weddings, to have any parties they have. It was like a holiday resort for three or four weeks. They drink, they eat, and they party, and they enjoy it. And we very, very, very rarely have any trouble, thanks be to God. Having travelled across the Irish Sea, Thelma and Pauline are on their way to help one of Rathkeel's brides-to-be get ready. It's 10.37 now, and... She's getting married at half eleven. And I know her mum wasn't very happy with her getting married that young. She wants her to waste. With the wedding less than an hour away, they arrive at a household in chaos. <laughs> The bride's mother, Eileen, is concerned the winter wedding may be scuppered as her daughter's wedding crown has gone missing in transit from England. The crown we sent someone to the airport to pick it up. It should be here any minute. You said she's not getting married without it. Now what's going to happen then? Whilst most of the family are nearly ready for the church, bride Lavinia is still in her pyjamas. Look at her. She looked like she's ready for marriage. Lavinia's is the eighth of nine weddings in Rathkeel this Christmas. Dad Clifford and brother-in-law Johnny are struggling with the pace of the sub-zero partying. Feeling very, very sick. Where's that? Bad hangover. A lot of beer. Jory here never stops. He went to bed early last night. He four o'clock in the morning. At four o'clock he went to bed. They wake up, they get dressed, they go to the pub, they get drunk, and they get, and, and they get drunk until they get sick, they go home, and that's it. At long last, the crown has arrived. This is what we're all waiting for now. Oh, it's nice. You see? Yeah, it is nice. Wow. Yay! Yay! Thank God for that. Yay. What a relief. Lavinia is already late for the church. Dad Clifford is anxious not to keep the priest waiting. Listen, you need a, a thing like well. a, a, a <laughs> roller. It's got the blue. Fiona, Mama, get me a roller. Are you ready now? They're there in the glass press, Mama. Close. Yeah. 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 You're getting married today, do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> and do you know it's today? Yes. Can't rush Fiona. When beauty is finally achieved, a horse-drawn carriage arrives for the journey to the church. Lavinia became engaged two months ago, having just turned 17. She will soon be marrying 24-year-old Tarmaka Edward, who also comes from Rathkeel. She looks really lovely. 
Her mum said she wasn't going to cry, but she starts to cry before, because that's her baby, isn't it? It's a baby girl, so, you know, I know she didn't want us to get married for about two years or something, and there she is, she's off, going. She's a very young bride, she is, but obviously she thinks she's doing the right thing. Lavinia arrives at the church a touch later than expected for the Christmassy union with her husband-to-be. But there's a slight issue. Groom Edward is nowhere to be seen. I'm calling the future son-in-law. <laughs> He's late instead of me this time. Where is he? Bob. I'm trying to get him out of the pub, Vinya. It's the Christmas wedding season in the Irish town of Rathkeel. 17-year-old Lavinia is ready to be escorted down the aisle, but is left waiting outside on one of the coldest days of the year, while her husband-to-be is down the pub with his mates. Uh, uh, tell him come up, uh, uh, James, will you, for God's sake? What? He wanted to be married more than I did. I think he's nervous. Edward, the priest is going mad here. Oh, no, come on, Ever. The police are going to go mad. I swear to God, the police are going mad. We're supposed, we're supposed to be here at half eleven. It's twelve o'clock now. Half twelve. Come on. Half twelve. Lavinia is keen to keep moving to stop herself from freezing. Where are you? Walking in, he came in there and then I frozen. Can go in the side door. Come on. How are you feeling, Lavinia? Nervous. Freezing. In pain. After nearly an hour, the groom and his entourage arrive from the pub. Hide this way here. Hide the back way. 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 There is precious little time for the lads to get themselves organized. Yeah, there's the ring, fool. And fit in a pose for the wedding video. What's the crack? Flat out, buddy. We're 100%. Cover by. That's it. Limerick City Goals. Having ushered the groom into the side door, Clifford can finally give his daughter away. Now, yeah, nearly there now. Push it on. Get in. Hello. After a slightly rocky start to their Christmas wedding. 17-year-old Lavinia and 24-year-old Edward have tied the knot. But the bride is paying a price for her fairy tale dress. She's actually got two nappies on her, on her hips yeah. and, and a big bandage as well. But she, it, it's hurting her. She's walking in pain at the moment, isn't she? Hit my, my garret. Lavinia's diamond-encrusted dress is held up by over 20 underskirts. <laughs> it is the most experience of my life carrying it. It's about 15 oh, yeah. stones. I don't want to be here. Happy Christmas! I, I saw it very excited. Lavinia has a whole day of celebrations to get through. But before the couple head to the reception, there is an important visit to be made. Showing respect for the dead is an important part of traveller culture, and it's traditional to visit the graves of loved ones on your wedding day. It's my mate's father. He died very young, so I'm on about. So, it's, it's, it's appreciation, you know what I mean? Thank you. 
married, this is what we do, and we all get married, we come out here to show our respects. That's what happens. Of course, paying your respects doesn't have to mean a sombre mood. Some of Edward's friends want to give him advice about his wedding night. What he's got to do is tonight, right, because this is his wedding, he's got to release the cannon. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Come on, lads, let's go. What does he need the Vaseline for? You shouldn't ask him that, love. In Ireland, Lavinia's wedding celebrations are in full swing. As is tradition at traveller weddings, the sexes tend to stay separate. The boys close to the bar, the girls on the dance floor. Thelma has attended hundreds of traveller weddings over the years, but the outfits at this one have surpassed them all. It's like the colours, loads of different colours. It's like more blingier than what it usually is. Well, I've never seen like the really young children, like that baby over there, but they're in like a belly top and, and a little skirt. I've never seen them on that young at, at the other weddings. Sometimes people outside the travelling community view the revealing outfits in a negative light. These young girls who are dancing, they're like, say, 14, 15, whatever, and, you know, they're just dancing, having a good time. You know, like, sometimes, you know, you see 14 or 15 year olds who are rotten drunk, you know, but these don't drink. They just have a good time dancing and they're not doing any harm. When the wedding celebrations are over, Lavinia and Edward will escape Ireland's cold weather, honeymooning in Tenerife with a group of other newlyweds. I'd like to thank my mother and father for having me this wedding. I thank for everybody for coming. Up the wedding, thanks. I'm happy with what you said. I'm happy she's got a lovely husband and I'm sad that she's leaving me. Lavinia will now leave home, joining Edward on the road as he works around Europe. As the celebrations wind down, thoughts will turn to the next Rathkeel Christmas wedding in 12 hours' time. <laughs>